I'm Tammy Polacek from Aristocratic Design, the author of Aristocratic Fruits, that shows you all kinds of ideas for fruit and platters, and the owner of Aristocratic Design, event and party coordinating. Um, what we're going to do today is something a lot of people find very intimidating, which is creme brulee. It's a pretty simple dish to make. It's a little bit complicated towards the end, maybe, but it's not that complicated, but it's very sophisticated, and a lot of people really like it. So we're going to start now with the ingredients that we're going to need for it, which are pretty basic. Our eggs, vanilla sugar, regular sugar, and heavy cream. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist and I'm going to take some chocolate grated as well, just for the bottom of it to give it a little bit of a twist, because if you do it the regular way, it's just kind of boring, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to crack the eggs into the mixer. By the way, when you want to work with eggs, the best is room temperature. When you work with them when they're too cold, it's harder to separate. It's easier to separate eggs when they're room temperature. What we're going to use is eight yolks. Slowly we're separating from the white. Now that we want to mix it, we're going to do it together with a quarter cup of sugar, which we're going to pour gently while it's beating on high speed. When you're starting to see that it's getting to the lemon color that you want, which is very, very soft and the cream becomes a little bit heavier, you're adding to it two vanilla sugar and two cups of heavy cream. And we're mixing it again. After all the ingredients are well mixed, we're taking it out and we're going to strain it into a bowl. So this way we have no pieces to it. The thing is with the heavy cream that a lot of times it have like little pieces that don't mix into the butter. Before you continue with anything, just start to put your oven to warm up to 300 Fahrenheit. This way, once they're done, you're gonna be able to straight put them in the oven. You're taking the ramekins and you're taking a little bit of the chocolate. Now, most recipes of creme brulee does not come with the chocolate, but we said we're gonna do a little bit of a twist. So it's a little surprise when you open it up. I'm filling up the ramekins all the way to the top. To be able to bake them, we need to put them in a bath of water because the water gives moist to the oven itself and this way does not bake it very harshly like all over. Once we have them in the water, we're going to put it in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. After our one hour over, we're taking them out. When it's done in the oven and you want to start to torch it, first you have to let it cool. Now you can let it cool from two hours up to two days, but any less than two hours, they're gonna be way too wiggly and they're gonna break. The best way to take them out of the oven is when the rim is fully baked, that it's firm, and the center is still a little wiggly. Once they're in the fridge for a couple of hours and they're set, we're taking sugar and putting on the top. Next thing you do is take the torch, you're burning the sugar. And here is your creme brulee. 